This man wanted nothing more than revenge and justice. The criminal who destroyed his family was in front of him. He don't need to be laying no, no mental hospital. He need, he need to go to prison, man. He want to play crazy. He wasn't, he wasn't crazy when he killed my mother my son, man. Lucas Kendall had become Donald Byrd's number one enemy, as well as the enemy of everyone close to him for his terrible crime. He had been the protagonist in a horrific shooting that took the life of Donald's son and left his companion a paraplegic. And what did you say in response when you saw his gun? Don't shoot, I think you want to like, don't shoot also. The incident was very confusing to authorities. Kendall had shot both young men, according to him, in self-defense. However, the evidence and witness statements painted a completely different picture. Did you manage to even get out of the car? No, you never made it out of the car. The defendant's attitude had outraged the victim's family, who saw everything he was doing as a mockery. How is it that you expect to represent yourself? I'm not going to represent myself. I refuse to participate in a charade. I would advise you to do things easily. You want to try. I don't want to try. This is a charade. Okay. That's when Donald Byrd decided to take justice into his own hands. You did my murder my son, man, for nothing? When he was trying to get away from you, you was a you, you was trying to get away from you, man. And you kept shooting him while his bike was under the truck. And you kept shooting him, man. You kept shooting him. The father's voice was as shattered as his son's life. He couldn't understand how anyone could be so evil as to murder his little boy and yet declare himself innocent. The crime had been cold-blooded and with malice aforethought. La reacción violenta en el momento es, no se procesa, ahí solamente hay, un, hay un, una explosión de furia, hay una explosión de ira. Y hay una ira, claro, contra una persona que atentó contra, contra tu hijo. Culturalmente se sabe que, o se entiende que es el padre el que debería fallecer primero que el hijo. Culturalmente se dice eso. Donald's out-of-control reaction had to do with the fact that Lucas wanted to declare that he couldn't stand trial because of his opposed mental condition that was afflicting him. No one really believed him except his mother. My son is the victim in this whole thing. He's been attacked in jail several times, beaten, ribs broken, he's had, had stitches on his face. They had to put him in isolation for longer than 15 months, isolation. Nobody stays normal in isolation at that amount of time. However, the family of the young man who died on that fateful night didn't believe anything the accused said. For them, Kendall was fully aware of what he was doing on the day of the incident. My son was crawling underneath the truck trying to get away, and he stood there and continued to shoot, but yet and still, he felt for his life. How? How? For them, the whole show that Lucas was putting on was a big lie so he could escape his sentence. You don't need to be laying no, no mental hospital. He need, he need to go to prison, man. He want to play crazy. He wasn't, he wasn't crazy when he killed my mother and my son, man. The defendant's plan would ultimately go nowhere and he would be sentenced for second-degree murder and attempted second-degree murder. Find the defendant, Lucas Kendall, guilty of second-degree murder with a firearm. This was a little bit of justice for a family that ended up destroyed by the wickedness of a man who had no problem in taking the life of an innocent person. He was trying to get away from you and you murdered a man like you! You murdered a man like that! Why are you doing that, man? And you want to play crazy, man? Play crazy! Play crazy, man!